Joining me now is Stephanie Shiras, who is Vice President and General Manager of the Red Hat Enterprise Linux Business Unit at Red Hat. Stephanie, lovely to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you again too, Guy. Thanks for having me back. No problem at all. During your, your conversations with telecoms service providers, which are the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 features that you feel are resonating with them the most? Yeah, I, I talk to a lot of um, telecom service providers. And you know, one of the things I think that comes across in all of the discussions is how they really are pushing the boundaries of both flexibility and efficiency, or really scalability in the case of the ser service providers. And our strategy around RHEL 8 was very much focused on those two areas, very much focused on how do we drive efficiency while also providing flexibility, but also enabling innovation. And when I look at some of the key features to dive into in those two areas in particular, when we look at efficiency and driving the capabilities to drive simple and scalable deployments, certainly Insights is one that we added into subscriptions when we launched RHEL 8. And by the way, it's in all supported RHEL subscriptions. So not just RHEL 8, but every RHEL subscription now offers Insights. And Insights is a as-a-service offering, you link up, and it's a rules-based engine that takes all the knowledge that we have from customer calls and support cases and CVE fixes, pulls all that together and allows us to bring that to the customer in their data center, gives them proactive guidance on perhaps they could configure this way for better performance, uh, perhaps they could update their security vulnerabilities. It provides a much more knowledgeable experience based upon the expertise that we have here at Red Hat. And in addition, we also put in for innovation capabilities where we added in deeper um, linkages into uh, things like GPUs and capabilities with partnerships like NVIDIA, broadening that technical capability and the footprint on which it could be used. And last, we'd be remiss if we didn't talk about containerization because containerization is happening everywhere and it's the latest and greatest way to deploy applications. And we pulled tools like Buildup, Podman, Scopio directly into RHEL. And that allows the capability for that container journey to start right there in the operating system. So we put a lot in focused on efficiency and scalability as well as flexibility. And we're seeing the telecom service providers really leverage that because they're pushing the boundaries in those two areas. Well, let's move our focus for a moment to the opportunities of the network edge. What features of Red Hat Enterprise Linux make it ideal for, for telco edge computing use cases and network design? Yeah, when we look at, um, we have always focused on making sure that when you look across what an operating system provides, and in particular what we focus on is RHEL, we want you to be able to develop an application once on RHEL and because of our broad ecosystem, deploy it anywhere and have the same experience, that same experience of secure, resilient, reliable, no matter where you deploy it. And we have been focusing clearly on private, public, being able to deploy containers and virtual machines. But now Edge provides a whole new way to deploy. It's that really distributed capability. But the situation there and being able to provide that consistent experience all the way from the core out to the edge, that gives a lot of efficiency. And the skills that you have around security brings that all the way out to the edge. We've put some things in like um, Image Builder. Image Builder is a tool that helps you build images that are can be as small as you want, like. It kind of modularizes what RHEL is. It allows you to pick the packages that make sense for you, do it in a really simple GUI type of fashion, and then deploy that consistently across. It's giving that flexibility to be able to pare down RHEL to just the packages that you need, but they're all RHEL packages at the end. And regarding security, how does Red Hat Enterprise Linux help service providers secure the edge? Security starts down really deep in the kernel, but it extends all the way up. 
Uh, our security lead likes to say that security is not a product, it's a lifestyle. And that's how we treat it here at RHEL. It starts down in capabilities like SE Linux, right down there in the kernel. And that gives us incredible security capabilities. But as we continue to move up the stack and security is top of mind every time we come out with a release, we've added things like being able to update crypto rules, you know, without having to reboot your system. So we've added additional capabilities, um, as well as things like certifications, go all the way out to certifications, and we make sure that we drive those certifications. The other piece I'd like to add is it's important when we look at the whole portfolio, RHEL's focus is not just about the RHEL product, but we provide that technical underpinning both for OpenStack and for OpenShift. So all of those security capabilities from SE Linux, from the certifications, from the work we do with partners, that all translates right into feeding into OpenShift and into OpenStack, and that gives that same feel across all of the platforms that Red Hat provides. Now, you've already mentioned that the move to containerization is gaining momentum. How does this play into Red Hat's approach? Yeah, containerization is everywhere now. And it, I think it's really fascinating because when you look at what containerization does, it really provides a lot of flexibility and agility with the capabilities of application deployment and being able to develop applications. But underneath it all, Linux still exists. It's still running on an operating system. And when you look at a containerized environment driven by Kubernetes, that interplay of how Linux is deployed, and again, Linux is that, that's that equalizer, right? It's what meets that hardware ecosystem and pairs that up with the application ecosystem. The way Linux is deployed is actually more complicated. You've now separated out your kernel um, from your user space, and the user space sits up within the container. So we've done some really strategic things to make sure that we feed that ecosystem. OpenShift, of course, is our Kubernetes platform. It is built upon RHEL. In order to start the journey to containers, we've built, put in tooling. So right in RHEL, you can build, you can deploy containers, and when you need orchestration, all of those skills you've developed around that Linux, they feed directly into your OpenShift deployment. And the ecosystem is critical when it comes to containers because containers are being built all over. And so we wanted to provide the ecosystem and the market an easy way to develop containers that has a user, user space that they could trust. And then when that container was run on top of OpenShift Kubernetes and on top of a RHEL kernel, it was all secure with that same experience. And that's called universal base image. And that's taken off since the last time we spoke. It's been a great ad for us to be able to feed the ecosystem and have containers be built with a user space that can be really trusted and be supported once it's run on RHEL or OpenShift. And finally, it would be remiss of me not to bring up 5G. 5G is a, the hot topic of the moment and how 5G interacts with the edge. What's your take on, on 5G and 5G edge? I mean, as, as I engage with the telecom service providers, it is just they always push the limit. And 5G is the next example of how that'll push the limit. But at the end of the day, as all this innovation gets deployed, it all has to be, all of us rely that it's done in a secure and a reliable and a resilient way. And that's where the operating system and the Red Hat portfolio really play. It's about how do you make sure you're moving to that next era of innovation, being able to deploy containers, being able to take it to the edge, but never compromising on the security and the resiliency. And that's what we focus on both in RHEL, but across the whole portfolio here at Red Hat. Such exciting times. Well, Stephanie, thanks for joining us again and for sharing your insights. You bet. It's nice to talk with you, Guy. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>